Hey everyone, and welcome to this next tutorial series with Modic. In this series, we're going to be looking at creating your very own Modic theme. You can use themes within Modic to style things such as your landing pages, your email templates, forms, and maybe some response messages, all so that they maintain a similar look and consistency but still have dynamic fields so that your marketing and sales departments can select that theme within Modic and make customizations to it, but only in specific areas. Throughout this tutorial series, we'll begin to look at all those different aspects of your theme, but in this particular video, we're going to focus on the general structure of a theme folder and the config.php file, which Modic will use to identify and locate your theme. You'll notice here that what I have is my text editor already pulled up with my Modic instance in place here, and my themes folder is open. We want to create a new theme, so what I'm going to do is click on themes and say new folder. Here I'm going to name my theme. We're going to call it awesome. Now I did mention that we would need a config.php file in the root of that themes folder. So what I should do first is glance quickly at some of the other ones that are available and see what folders and files are being used. We notice by looking at the three themes that come with Modic, we have a CSS, an HTML, and a config.php. Also notice that the nature theme includes an additional folder called images. What this tells us is we can have whatever folders and files within our theme that we need to use within our theme pages themselves. The only thing we need to have for certain is the HTML and the config.php file. So let's get started by creating that config.php file. This file holds a config array which is going to be used by Modic to identify both what our theme is and what fields are available within that theme. So we'll simply return that config. Now let's look at the specifics. The first thing we need to do is we need to identify what our theme is. So we're going to say awesome is the name for our theme. We're doing this simply because that's what we decided to name the folder and for consistency's sake it makes sense to name the theme the same. Next we need to identify what features our theme is going to offer. This is another array set. These, this array is going to be what features or where this theme can be used within Modic. So we're going to say you can use it for landing pages, for email messages, and for forms. And we'll get into that last one later on in the series. The next thing that we have to look at beyond the features is the slots where our theme can be used. Now slots is a very easy term to think about because basically slots are where the dynamic content can be placed when someone else is using this theme. Again we're going to say this is an array and now we break down slots by each of the features that we just defined. So our page is going to have an array of available slots. And this might be things like left, right, top, bottom, and maybe we'll also say footer. Okay? We also need to define the email. And just so that we can be clear here, we're going to say in email our slots are header, body, and footer. Now notice I did not name these slots the same between the two types or features. That's perfectly okay. They could be named the same because as you see I have a footer in both sections but I also have different values. This means it does not matter what those slots are named as long as I use consistent naming between my config file and the actual template file for that feature. With those slots I have now written everything that I must have within my config file. 
This means if I flip over to Modic, I should be able to find my new created theme as an available option. So if I go to landing pages and create new, selecting theme, I now see awesome as an available theme. Now, of course, launching the builder at this point will not yield me any special theme because I haven't yet defined the actual specific field elements and how they relate to an actual layout. But you can see that's all it takes to generate a config and a theme that's recognized by Modic. In the next episode, we'll dig deeper into the HTML folder. If you glance at one of the available ones, you'll see base.html.php, email, form, message, and page. So we'll look in the next video a little more in depth at what that base HTML PHP and page.html.php looks like.